Uh, today we're trying to disprove the following statement. There exists an integer n such that n cubed minus n plus 1 is even. Now, uh, human intuition would probably say, well, that's easy. Uh, we, can find, we can find something that disproves the statement. Okay, let's say that n equals 2, right? Well, if n equals 2, then 2 cubed minus 2 plus 1, 8 minus 2 plus 1, 6 plus 1, 7. Hey, 7's an odd number. That's not even. That disproves the statement. Done? No. That doesn't really work. 2 is only one case. So the next thing that people might try was, okay, well, we tried 2. That was an even number. Now let's try it with an odd number. n equals 3. 3 cubed minus 3 plus 1. 9 minus 3 plus 1. 6 plus 1. 7. Hey, that's another odd number. That's not even. So we're done, right? No, not even close. The idea is that there exists an n, an integer n, such that this statement is even. We've only proven it for two cases, a 2 and a 3. Yes, they're an odd and an even number, but we need to prove it for all n. Now, we're not going to test 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, all the way to infinity. That would take forever. The idea that mathematicians use is much more lazier. We're only going to, to disprove it for two statements. Now, the question becomes, what are the two statements? What two possible numbers could n be? n could either be even or n could be odd. We're going to disprove it for both cases and thus disprove the statement for all integers. So let's try it with an even number. If n is even, then n has to be divisible by 2. So I'm going to put it in the form of 2m. m is just any integer. So if n is in this form, then n has to be an even number. So I'm going to plug in 2m for each of the places here. 2m cubed minus 2m plus 1. 2m cubed is 8m cubed minus 2m plus 1. I'm going to factor out a 2, get 4m cubed minus m plus 1. And then it's very obvious to see right here that this statement is an odd number. I'm going to replace this with a q, just a q being any integer, and you could see that 2q plus 1 is an odd number. That means what we've just proven right here is that if we plug in any even number into the original statement, we will always get an odd number in return, thus disproving the statement for all even numbers. The next step is to disprove it for all odd numbers now. This takes a little bit more work. There's a lot more arithmetic involved, and I'm going to assume that you're following along with some of the statements and some of the moves that I'm making. If n is an odd number, then it has to be of the form 2m plus 1. It has to be. So I'm going to take 2m plus 1 and plug it in everywhere there's an n in the original statement. So we get 2m plus 1 cubed minus 2m plus 1 plus 1. Now this is where a lot of the arithmetic will come in. When you're cubing a binomial, you're going to get a pretty lengthy statement in return. So let's try this out. I'm going to uh, extend this right now. 2m plus 1 times 2m plus 1 times 2m plus 1 is, of course, 2m plus 1 cubed minus, this negative is distributed right here, 2m minus 1 plus 1. Um, right here, negative 1 plus 1 cancel each other out. So we're just left with these uh, 2m plus 1 cubed minus 2m. Let's fix that there. I like to be neat. All right, these two 2m plus 1. FOIL method. I'm going to get 4m squared plus 4m plus 1. 
rewrite my statement, 2m plus 1 minus 2m. Now I have a trinomial times a binomial. Again, I'm going to assume that you're following along with these steps and you have a basic knowledge of how to multiply polynomials together, so let's go along. Uh, 2m times this, you get 8m cubed plus 4, I'm sorry, 8m squared plus 2m plus 4m squared plus 4m plus 1, and then finally I'm going to bring down the minus 2m. Again, assuming you already have a basic knowledge of math, if you don't, get out and get one. Now, combine like terms, 8m cubed plus 12m squared plus 6m plus 1 minus 2m. This is the statement that we've left over with. Now, I'm going to erase some of my work above. You can go back and rewind if you want to see that again. So let's see here. All right, let's rewrite the statement above. We had 8m cubed plus 12m squared plus 6m plus 1 minus 2m. Let's erase the rest down here because I feel like it. So. Combine like terms, 8m cubed plus 12m squared plus 4m plus 1. Again, just like the even case, I'm going to factor out a 2 out of the first three terms, plus 6m squared plus 2m plus 1. And once again, if we take this statement and replace it with a q, we get 2q plus 1, which is obviously another odd number. So basically what we've done is we've assumed that n could be an even number or an odd number. We showed the case where when n was an even number, we ended up with the 2q plus 1. We just showed right here if the case if n was an odd number, we ended up with 2q plus 1. Thus, by all by these two statements combined therefore n cubed minus n plus 1 must be odd for all integers n thus we have disproved the statement any questions you can email me if you don't agree with what i've done you can shove it